Hello all, welcome to the ninth episode of Debugging TV Frames program. You can type your questions during this episode. If I can't answer particular questions now, I then post answers on the website debugging.tv. The topic of today's episode is catching data corruption in multi-threaded environments using hardware write access breakpoints. Sometimes this is complicated by having legitimate code that also writes to the same data. For such scenarios, some breakpoint strategy needs to be designed and implemented. This problem was suggested to me by one of participants in legacy Windows debugging training and I borrowed the code idea and modified it as Windows application modeling data corruption. Here's the code fragment from the source I put later on debugging.tv. A controller variable is supposed to have a certain command value periodically set. If it has a different value, something bad happens, which is illustrated by raising an exception. So now I show you this scenario. I launched mixed breakpoints application and then if I choose start in approximately 10 seconds the data is corrupt and we see Windows Air reporting dialog. So what we do now we launch a WinDBG and attach to that process so now we fix symbols and then we examine threads what we see thread number one its stack trace has exception processing. So we take the return address for raise exception and disassemble it. We see that the next extraction is move, is controller modification. as seen from this source code and this corresponds to this address so we remember this put it to notepad what I do I also save this output into a log file to put it later on debugging.tv and then I close this session So what we need to do to catch that data corruption, so here's breakpoint strategy, our strategy. We need to set a right hardware breakpoint to catch corruption coming from a different thread. But we also need to disable that breakpoint temporarily when we write to uh, that controller variable ourselves. So we see in the code that we write to that variable before loop. So we need to ignore that breakpoint. So if we enable hardware write access breakpoint before we call work item normal procedure, so we need to ignore the first controller variable modification and then we need to disable and re-enable it during loop 
during each iteration, loop iteration, when we modify that variable, just before and after. So let's do that using WinDBG. So we, actually we see that uh, reporting, we dismiss it. So we launch another instance on mixed backpoints application and then we launch debugger and then attach to that process so then we fix symbols do reload so what we do first we set access right access breakpoint controller is integer variable and integer variable for bytes so then we have we see that breakpoint has ID 0 remember our address so we set software breakpoint to heat just before we execute this instruction in, uh, controller variable modification so we put that address but when this breakpoint is heat we disable breakpoint with ID 0 and then we skip that instruction T is trace command skip that so we come to the next instruction after controller variable modification so let's check so this breakpoint is set so let's also disassemble our breakpoint address and see the address of the next instruction so here we put another breakpoint but this time the command to execute will be to re-enable hardware write breakpoint and continue execution go command so then we what we do we do go and then we repeat that go this is to skip the first breakpoint uh, the first hardware access right access breakpoint that is triggered before loop execution just after work item normal procedure the beginning of work item normal procedure so we do that command and then we come back to our mixed backpoints application hit start and then in approximately 10 seconds we expect data corruption from another thread to be caught so let's check that you see debug debug is running so the system is busy so we see the first breakpoint was hit right axis and then skipped and then we have another breakpoint hit so some right axis happened from another procedure and uh, its name is work item defect this is from another thread you will see that from source code when you download it later from debugging.tv so we even see stack trace and
we see so if we uh, take that backpoint address and disassemble it backwards we see that indeed there was controller modification So let's save this into log file. Actually. So here's the summary of debugger output in various colors and some comments. Here are commands we learned. And finally, we come to our usual ban add command and uh, I added here an introduction to software narratology so this free webinar would happen on April the 2nd so and we talk about application of ideas from a discipline that studies narrative stories in general, so application of that discipline to their analysis of software traces and logs. So you are welcome to attend, to subscribe to that webinar and attend. This is free event for just one hour. All original content here. So thank you for watching this episode. Please later check out the slides and recorded video from debugging.tv. The next episode is scheduled for the 9th of March. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.